The first step is selecting the future we wish to trade. For this example, we will open a position in the CGB, the 10-year Government of Canada bond futures, on an outright basis. To select it, we will first go to the drop-down menu labeled Type and select Futures. Once you do so, a drop-down menu will appear listing the various futures products offered by the Montreal Exchange. Scroll down to the section labeled Interest Rate Derivatives Bond Market and select the CGB. In the drop-down menu directly to the right of this, select the Futures option and click on Go. In the portfolio screen that pops up below, we will make four selections. The contract month we wish to trade, to buy or sell this contract, the quantity of contracts to be traded, and the price we wish to pay. The buy, sell, and quantity fields are self-explanatory. However, the other two merit some attention. The CGB trades on a quarterly cycle, so we will have four contracts to choose from, March, June, September, and December. Other contracts may have different cycles, so ensure that you select the contract that best suits your strategy or market view. Generally, for most futures contracts, most of the liquidity will be in the front month. So if you wish to trade the further contracts, ensure there is sufficient volume to support your trade size. Lastly, we have to determine which order type we wish to use. A market order, meaning an order that will be executed at the current market price, or a limit order, which is an order that will be executed only at a price at or better than the price you specify. If you select a market order, there is nothing else to do, your trade will be filled at the prevailing market price. If you select a limit order, you must select the price you are willing to pay in the limit field and for how long your order is good for in the duration field. In the duration field, we have two options, day and good till cancel. If you select day, the order will be good until the end of the trading day and will automatically be canceled if it goes unfilled. The good till cancel order will remain valid until it is filled or canceled by the trader or the contract expires. For the purpose of this example, we will open a position by buying 10 of the front month, which is the September 2013 contract at market. Once we enter the necessary parameters, we click on preview. The preview screen allows you a last opportunity to change your trade prior to execution. The screen also offers you a glimpse of the cost of your transaction in terms of commission costs and estimated required buying power. The estimated required buying power is the amount of capital that will be tied up in initial margin in order to trade the contract. These same steps can be used to open a position using a limit order or close the position with either a market or limit order.